Hey guys, before I start this video, please go to the link in the description for my Twitch channel. Hit the sub button. Also hit the notification button so you guys know when I go live, and I would appreciate it. What's going on, guys? It's your boy Easy TV bringing you guys another division video. I know it's been a while. The last video I uploaded was like two weeks ago for the guys who do follow me and the the YouTube family that I do have that watch my video knows my father passed and I had, uh, you know, a lot of stuff to deal with, uh, funerals to go to and just handling a lot of different stuff uh, pertaining to that situation. But it's over with. I'm glad it's over with. But I'm back in full effect. Um, I got to drop these these bills for you guys. Um. And let's get straight into the build. So, uh, of course, it's a build that you guys have not seen before, but it's the way that I run the build. I always hit you guys with the way I run the build and how I think the build should be ran. And it's the six piece. Um, I'm sorry. Let me go back. It's the six piece uh, striker classified build. Um, like I told you guys before, um, skill power is obsolete. I don't think skill power is even useful anymore. Uh, I see a lot of people running around with skill power builds. Um, I think a lot of build does a lot of builds doesn't take skill power anymore. Uh, you probably would never see me really make a build around skill power unless it's like a six piece classified tactician or a six piece classified uh, reclaimer or a six piece classified. Um, uh, what else is coming out? Um, Firecrest, that's probably the only time you will really see me throw a lot into skill power. But um, I think this is the way that you run um, a um, striker build. So, of course, a lot of people use uh, shotguns, of course, but because they stack so fast. But my main gun is an M4. I use a, uh, a M, uh, lightweight M4 responsive deadly in the depth. This is the best combination to me so far for this for this build because you need crits um also of course the showstopper to get those stacks fast um and then i'll just show you guys the mods that i have on the gun just scroll through those that's for the showstopper and this is for the m4 uh also um of course you need toughness you need stamina this meta you need to have toughness and stamina all right uh of course everything is classified striker the chest piece has um um 16 000 health enemy armor damage roll for stamina uh 48 ammo capacity and it does also have a firearms mod with health and a stamina mod with health um this mass is a striker mass had crit hit chance i need as much chance as possible with this build um it's roll for stamina also, and it has a uh, firearm mods with health on it. Striker knee pads, roll for firearms, 16,000 health, increased kill XP, disorient resistance, and blind death. You would want like bleed resistance, uh, bleed resistance, shock resistance, and some other stuff. That's what you would want. Um, and also it has firearms mod with health and uh, post critical hit chance. Also, a classified striker backpack, 13,000 health. Roll firearms, disrupt uh, resistance. You will want, um, I think some of those, some of these get exotic damage resilience. Um, a lot of people say you need a lot of exotic damage resilience. I haven't, since they changed the timer on grenades, I haven't really seen nades really that effective especially when i run this kind of build it, it doesn't really hurt me that much uh, maybe because i probably already got some but i never really looked into it but it just doesn't hurt me as much all right and then that's also um firearms mod with health with two post critical hit chance mods uh striker gloves roll for assault rifle damage critical hit damage critical hit chance if you're a shotgun guy go for shotgun if you're smg go for smg uh roll for firearms and it also has, uh, no, that doesn't have a mod on it. You can tell I haven't did this in a minute. Uh, a striker holster, 
uh, almost God road. It has a uh, health on it just so I can get over that 500 K mark. Um, you could put critical hit chance if you want to on here, but, um, it has a post critical hit chance mod on here. All right. Um, I'm going to, uh, my abilities. Of course I'm running booster. The booster is weak, but the booster is only for the damage. That's it. It's not for healing at all. It's only for the damage. And of course, I'm running a pulse, um, 15.20% uh, uh, pulse critical hit chance with the striker bills. To be honest, even if the littlest kind of crit, ch uh, I'm sorry, crit chance that you have, if you're hitting your shots, it don't matter. They're going down. Um, I'm running uh, also as a talent. I'm running critical save, combat medic. Um, I'm running adrenaline. And I'm running uh, on the move. You could run steady hands, but one thing about adrenaline is you guys know the Predators Mark meta. Um, when you pop a med kit, you get immunity for seven seconds. It is very stressful running uh, Last Stand and DZ with a team of people who's running six piece Predator Mark. They going into bleed effect. It is very, very, very strong. So you guys would need that to keep, uh, you know, at least to have some type of survivability. Um, as of right now, Predator's Mark is the most broken build on the game. Point blank period. I don't have a six piece Predator's Mark. Um, I will, when I get it, I will put out a build video for it. Hopefully it's nerfed by then. Like a lot of people, uh, like I don't really think they should nerf stuff. Predator's Mark definitely has to be nerfed. All right. Um, I'm going to get into another discussion about Predator's Mark on another video. Uh, I'll probably drop it today as well. But uh, this is all I have for you guys. Also, I do have last stand gameplay of this build. So I'll just give you guys last stand gameplay. Uh, but other than that, please, please, guys, give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Also, subscribe to the channel. Uh, I've been slacking. I was supposed to hit a thousand subs a long time ago, but like I said, there's been a lot of stuff going on. So I would appreciate you guys. If you guys can sub to the channel, hit that like button, share this channel. If you want to also hit that notification button. So, you know, when I do go live on YouTube or I do uh, drop a, a build video that you guys will have the notification that I'm live. But other than that, please, please guys enjoy the last stand gameplay. All right. I appreciate you guys, and I'm out. Defend objectives. We need the data they contain. Okay, let's go. at Alpha. Hostiles have taken Charlie. Rogue agents are now leading. Turret is active at Alpha. I want to mess with the cleaners. Good JTF is a dead JTF.
Spawn relay is no longer active. Rogue agents are assaulting a fortification. Alpha fortification destroyed.
seconds until tactical boost can be enabled. Pulse is enabled at Alpha. Tactical boost can be activated. We now control Alpha. Your spawn relay is active. Turret enabled at Alpha. Bravo's gone neutral. Bravo is controlled by hostiles. Points multiplier is now active for rogue agents. Bravo's confirmed neutral. We just surrendered the lead. Bravo's neutral. We just hit 50% on the upload. Points for kills is a go. Now control Bravo.
Charlie is now neutral. at Alpha's taking fire. Fortification eliminated at Alpha. Control Charlie. Hostiles are attacking a fortification at Alpha. Alpha is gone neutral. Your spawn relay is now deactivated. Fortification destroyed at Alpha. The enemy is attacking a fortification. Alpha has lost a fortification. The points multiplier tactical boost is now active. A fortification is under fire. Fortification at Alpha destroyed. Control Alpha. Bravo has gone neutral. Boost is active. Bravo's ours. That's a victory. 